In this video, I will show you how to use do not disturb. You can use do not disturb instead of putting your phone in silent or in vibration. Let's get started. So in order to access do not disturb function, you need to come to this place where all your functions are. Mine is here, this is a symbol, but if you don't find it, then you should scroll even lower and then you can click on this pencil sign and you can see all your functions and you should try to find an icon similar to this which is called do not disturb so if I would just touch it I have activated now do not disturb what does that mean? it can mean various different things based on the settings you have set up in do not disturb let's imagine that now I'm going to a meeting and I put this icon on so that nobody would call me to disturb me because I don't want my phone to make any noise and I think I click on this and it should work and now see what happens when my friend call me as you saw there you could hear the ringtone so what's the sense of putting the do not disturb now I'm gonna show you how you can fix this problem so scroll down again hold your finger on the icon then you go to the options for do not disturb and in a category called exceptions you see calls and if you touch it it will show you who are allowed to call you on your phone when the do not disturb is activated at the moment whoever is in my contacts can call me even though I have turned on the do not disturb which doesn't make much sense to me because usually the people who are in my contacts will call me so I would suggest you to touch this then you can choose other options such as anyone but that doesn't make sense none that makes some sense when you activate this you don't want anyone to call you or you could change it from start contacts only this makes it interesting okay so let's select from start contacts only and it shows some list of people who are in my star contacts on top of your contact list, you can see the start contacts and then it starts with A. Another way to find the start contacts is to go to your home tab. You need to go to your app called phone, touch it. And the first tab of that app shows you the contacts that you have start. And it's really simple to store a contact. So if I go to my all contacts, now how can I make a contact into a star? You can just select this. And then touch the star button and now touch back go to the star and you can see a new contact is added to the star called Ben so my friend is now in my star contacts and I have turned on my do not disturb so what happens if she calls me she goes to her phone and she calls me again and I still hear the ringtone if you don't want to hear that person calling you all you need to do is touch these three dots then you can edit the person and touch the star and you unmark the person to be start then press back and now let's see what happens when the person calls me as you can see there is no ringtone the person can still call you but your phone won't make any sound so let's demonstrate some other settings in do not disturb so if I hold I go back to the settings so in the exceptions I've shown you that you can allow your star contacts only there is an option which allow repeat callers so if a person calls you twice within 15 minutes the second time you will be able to hear the person then you have some options on the behavior so when the do not disturb is turned on do you want your alarm still be on if you watch something on YouTube, do you want that sound to be there? If you want, then you need to let this to be on. Notification. In the first option, the default option, you will see the notifications, but you will not hear any sound. In the second option, you would not see nor hear any notification, or you can touch to customize, to do whatever you want. So if we go back again, then we have other exceptions the sound of reminders and events are allowed by default also you can turn on some of the messages 
messages from no one is allowed now but you can also make it so that you could hear the sounds from your stored contacts if they send you a message you can have schedules so if you select duration here you have three options by default it is selected as no time limit it means as soon as you turn on do not disturb by default the duration is until you turn it off manually yourself but then you have other two options which is for one hour that means you can adjust the timing for which you want do not disturb to be on ask every time means every time you turn on do not disturb it would ask you that for the duration for which you want do not disturb to be on or you can say no time limit so the next thing is to turn on automatically in here we have three different options so if you select event you can turn on do not disturb when you got an event it can be any calendar but you need to select the calendars you got and it would automatically would understand that you got a, for example a meeting so that it would automatically would turn on do not disturb or you can have your own rules here you have two options events or the time of the day for example you do not want to be disturbed when you're sleeping you can create a name for that rule and then set up the time of the day when you don't want to be disturbed then to turn off the chat just scroll down and select the icon again and now you're back to normal in case you want to put your phone just to silent touch the button here and then you can just touch here once it goes to the vibration touch again and now it goes to the silent and touch again it back to normal so your ring ringtone is now activated i hope now you learn how to use do not disturb function in android if it was useful please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye